Let's talk about Apple Focus Modes. In the current world of procrastination and distraction, Focus Modes are a powerful tool that tries to eliminate those distractions during certain activities of your day so you can stay focused on what you are doing at the moment. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how to use and master these focus modes and a couple of tips on how to maximize your productivity. Let's start with the basics. To get to the focus modes, you will most likely be going through the control center by swiping down from the top right. Here you'll see a section called focus. If you don't have it, then you could tap and hold onto the screen until you get to add control button then search and add it. Now, when you tap into it, you could see a list of focus modes that you could choose from. And if you scroll down, you can add additional focus modes. And when you hit the plus sign on the bottom, you wanna see that there's some already created here. These are the default ones that Apple's already made for you, but you can go ahead and customize your own as well. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's say I wanna create one called family time to make sure I stay present when hanging with my family. So I will name it, choose a color and choose an icon then hit next to customize the focus. And here's where the fun starts to happen. First thing you can do is click on intelligent breakthrough and silencing to have on-device intelligence automatically determine whether a notification should break through, even though it is silenced or not. Like for example, if someone calls multiple times or texts you the word urgent, it will come through. This is a setting you can leave on and see if you like it or not. Next, you could choose what notifications you wanna have silenced. There are two categories here, people and apps. Under people, you could choose to create a list of people to silence or allow notifications from. I prefer the allow list since it's usually much easier to make, in my opinion, instead of adding a bunch of people you want to silence. Here you can start adding contacts that you still want to be able to contact you, and you can even do this by choosing a contact list if you already have one. For example, I'll choose my family list here and select all my family members. Then when I hit next, I could choose what incoming calls I want to see. Here I'll choose allow people only, and then hit done. And now you get the option to choose allow repeated calls within three minutes to bypass the silence just in case there is an emergency. Moving to the apps category, you get the same silence and allow options, but this time let's choose silence and choose some apps. I wanna to try to silent apps that will make me distracted. So for me, that is Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and definitely my fantasy football app. Once you're done choosing that, you can now choose to allow time sensitive notifications come through, even if they are silenced. And once that is done, you can go to the options tab here so you can customize how the science notifications will show. You can choose to have science notifications still appear on the lock screen, have them hidden on the home screen, whether you want to have the notifications silent when locked or all the time. And then you also get the option to dim the lock screen when this focus mode is on, which will dim your wallpaper and make it a little bit harder to see. Now that that is done, we could start to customize the lock screen, home screen, and even the Apple Watch face I am using. Starting with the lock screen, I could choose a wallpaper with me and my wife, and in doing so, I could also customize the widgets on this wallpaper to be relevant to the focus mode I am in. And then for the home screen, this is where things can get really interesting because you could choose the home screens that only have the apps you want to have visible. This is great for focus modes that you want to have your most used app front and center. For example, in the work focus mode, I have all my home screens unchecked except for a home screen I customized to just have my work apps on it. So a big tip here is to create separate home screens for your focus modes and just always be in a focus mode so you only see what you need to see. For this family time focus mode, I'm just gonna choose the home screen with just my home apps on it. And then for the Apple Watch, I'll choose my family photos watch face. But again, this could be really powerful if you are in the focus mode that needs quick access to certain apps. For example, in fitness focus, I have all my workout apps front and center when I'm in this mode, and it makes it really easy to access. Next, we have the ability to set a schedule to make this focus mode automatically turn on. There's a smart activation option that when turned on, will use on-device intelligence to try and determine the most relevant times throughout the days to automatically turn this focus on. I'll keep this off for now and then set my own schedule. We get three ways to trigger this automation. First, it's just a time of day. So here I'm gonna choose seven to 9 p.m. and then leave it from Monday to Sunday. So when those times occur, it will automatically change to my family time focus. The other option is by location. I like to use this one for when I arrive at my local gym, it will automatically change everything to my fitness focus. Or if you travel for work, you can have it turn on your work focus mode as soon as you arrive. The third way to trigger a focus mode automatically is by opening an app. For instance, if you open the books app, I have it trigger my reading focus mode, and as soon as I exit the app, it will switch it back off. 
These triggers really make it easy to transition between focus modes without manually having to do so. To me, this is the key component to mastering focus modes because you could set it and forget it and really dial in on what you are doing at the moment. The final customization on focus mode is the ability to use focus filters. There are two types, app and system filters. App filters are customizations within the app itself. For instance, with work focus mode, you can have only your work calendar events be shown and nothing else. And in this focus, I'm gonna choose the messages focus filter, which will only display messages or groups that include the people I allow notifications for. And I can even choose to turn off the filter straight from the messages app. And then a new focus filter is introduced in iOS 26. It's called the SIM focus filter which is kind of a big deal. This one means if you have multiple SIMs, let's say for personal and one for work, then you could choose to have work-related calls during work focus mode and then only personal went off. Super convenient so you don't have to manually switch the SIM every single time. There are also a few third-party apps that can also be used here, but there's not a lot. They'll show up here if the app you have is compatible. Hopefully one day there becomes more because I think this is such a good feature if apps give Apple access to do so. For system filters, you could customize a few settings like toggle on and off always on display, light or dark modes, low power mode, and silent mode. For me, I'm just gonna choose turn on silent mode for this focus. One thing to know here is at the time of making this video, focus filters do not work across devices. What we could do is just go into those other devices and just adjust the focus filter for those focus modes. So now we have just completed our new family time focus mode. And if you go into settings, then focus, you get access to edit these focus modes. But below that, you could turn on share across devices so that when you turn it on for one device, it would do it across all your other Apple products. I keep this on because it is one of the best features. And below that is focus status. Here you could choose to let people know if you have notifications silence or not. It doesn't tell them what focus mode you're in, but just that you have silenced notifications. And there's also some unique focus modes that have extra features not found in others. But before we get into that, if you guys could just shift your focus down to where it says subscribe and click on it, that would be great. Thank you. All right, let's get back to the video. The first one is drive focus mode. Drive focus mode has this auto reply feature that allows you to set a message that can be sent automatically to people who text you. I absolutely love this feature, but just wish you could have the option to do this with other focus modes. Drive focus mode can also auto connect if it detects you are in motion or when connected to Bluetooth or manually. And if you have CarPlay, you could choose to activate it as well. Sleep focus is also unique as it connects to your sleep schedule alarm. Here you could choose to have sleep focus activated during the wind down phase. You could set how much time before your desired sleep time to activate right now. And if you hit the schedule and options button, it would take you to the sleep section of the health app so you could adjust your schedule. Or you can go to the clock app where the alarms live and that first alarm that says sleep wake up, you could also adjust the time your sleep schedule starts and ends. Fitness focus has a default setting that you could toggle to automatically turn on when you start a workout. Gaming Focus has a special feature that will automatically turn on when a wireless controller is connected. There is also Reduce Interruptions Focus Mode that is simply just using on-device intelligence to determine what notifications should be let through or silenced. I personally don't use this one ever, but it could be a good default focus mode, I guess, to have on and see how it works throughout the day. There are multiple ways to activate a focus mode. As you saw in the customization, you could do this by specific triggers, but you could also do this by telling Siri. You could also go to the control center and open up the focus modes and click it to turn it on. You can even hit the three dots next to it to set time limits such as one hour until tomorrow morning or until you leave the current location. Another great way to do this is if you have the action button on your iPhone, you can set it up to turn on a specific focus mode. By going to settings, action button, and change it to focus, and then choose the focus you would want to set. Or if you want to get real advanced, you could even set up an Apple shortcut. For example, in this shortcut I made, I have it so that when this shortcut is activated, it will turn on my start work scene and turn on my work focus mode. But let's get a little more creative here. So if I change the shortcut to just get the current focus mode, and add an if statement so that if my work focus is on to turn on my start work scene, but if not, then to open up my action button menu shortcut. So now if I attach the action button to the shortcut and my work focus mode is activated, it will start my home automation. But if it's in any other focus modes or none, it will pop up my action button menu. You could also use focus modes themselves as triggers. If you go to shortcuts and then automations, hit the plus sign and scroll down to where it shows your focus modes. Here we can choose the trigger of if a focus mode is turned on or off and then put run immediately. 
to activate a shortcut or action. So I put one of my personal shortcuts here that will text me my work calendar events for the day. So now when I turn on that focus mode, you will see the shortcut will activate and I will receive a text message with the calendar events for the day. And here's one more automation that I think you guys really like since focus modes are all about eliminating distractions. So let's choose an automation for when an app is open and let's choose TikTok. Then we're gonna choose run immediately. Then from here, we created an action that will get the current focus mode and if it is on work focus mode to go to the home screen. So now when my work focus mode is activated and I hit on TikTok, it will exit the app and push me back to the home screen. You can get really creative here. The ideas are endless. Now that you guys know everything there is about Apple focus modes, I highly suggest you take the time to create and customize a few on your own and try to automate the transitions between focus modes as much as possible so you don't have to remember to switch it. Let me know in the comments what focus mode you guys have created. And if you guys found this video helpful and want to know when more videos like this come out, then hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about Apple shortcuts, click the playlist I have on the screen to see what could be done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.